And I expect each of you to supply these men. We must rebuild what was lost at Ostagar, and quickly. There are those who would take advantage of our weakened state if we let them. We must defeat this darkspawn incursion, but we must do so sensibly and without hesitation. Your Lordship, if I might speak. You have declared yourself Queen Honora's regent, and claim we must unite under your banner for our own good. But what of the army lost at Ostagar? Your withdrawal was most... fortuitous. Everything I have done has been to secure Ferelden's independence. I have not shirked my duty to the throne, and neither will any of you! The Banorn will not bow to you simply because you demand it. Understand this. I will brook no threat to this nation from you or anyone. Van Tegen, please! Your Majesty. Your father risks civil war. If Eamon were here... Antigon, my father is doing what is best. Did he also do what was best for your husband, Your Majesty? Wake up, gentlemen. More travelers to attend to. I guess that fellow is the leader. Uh, they don't look much like their mothers. You know, uh, maybe we should just let these ones pass. Nonsense. Greetings, travelers. Highwaymen, preying on those fleeing the darkspawn, I suppose. They are fools to get in our way. I say, teach them a lesson. 
Now, is that any way to greet someone? <laughs> A simple ten silvers, and you're free to move on. What did I tell you? No wagons, and this one looks armed. The toll applies to everyone, Henrik. That's why it's a toll, and not, say, a refugee tax. Oh, right. Even if you're no refugee, you still got to pay. Indeed, for the upkeep of the Imperial Highway. It's a bit of a mess, isn't it? Not much gets past you, I see. It's not really a toll. We're just robbing you, see? Do shut up. Even a Genlock would have understood that. Well, I can't say I'm pleased to hear that. We have rules, you know. Right. We get to ransack your corpse, then. Those are the rules. <laughs> well, this is going nowhere. Let's finish this, gents. We must not yeah! exhaust before the dog spawn get us all. Yes, yes, of, of course. We should have been more careful. <laughs> I'm sorry. But there aren't any. Just the Templars, and, and they'll execute me. Well, what could I tell you? We aren't even from these parts. Well, watching for folks fleeing from the south, chasing from the wilds and farmholders, mostly. There aren't soldiers here anymore, so we help ourselves. We try not to hurt anyone too much. It's packed full. The band took his men north with Ter and Loghain, so there's no one looking out for it except a few Templars at the Chantry. Well, I was just trying to feed my family, you know? A couple, maybe. A group of wounded ash warriors came by earlier. Got right out of their way. Everyone's saying how the Grey Wardens betrayed the king during the Darkspawn fight. Got him and themselves killed. Turn Loghain pulled out just in time. First thing he's doing as regent is putting a bounty on Grey Wardens. Well then, let me go! What are you joking, right? I could never be a soldier. Bless you. The Darkspawn can have this place. decided to rejoin us, have you? Falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it. Is my being upset so hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? Before or after I stopped laughing. Right, very creepy. Forget I asked. Anyway, I thought we should talk about where we intend to go first. He was out scouting in the wilds, wasn't he? That's what the king said. Then attempting to look for him there would be foolish. He is either dead or he managed to flee to the north. Very sensitive. I am simply saying that it is foolish to mount a rescue when you have no notion where this man is and the wilds are overrun with darkspawn. You will either find him somewhere outside the wilds with other survivors, or not at all. Well... We'll need to decide eventually. Let's head into the village when you're ready.
You there. If you're looking for safe shelter, I'll warn you, there's none to be found. Move on if you can. Lothering's lost. We've had refugees streaming from the south for the last two days. The Chantry and Tavern are full to bursting. There simply isn't enough food to go around, and we Templars can barely keep order. You'd be better off elsewhere, my friend. I'm just warning you, things may not be as hospitable as you would expect. People are frightened. The ban has marched north with Terran Loghain, so Lothering's on its own. Most folks look to Elder Miriam. Otherwise, you could speak to Sir Bryant in the Chantry, I suppose. It's up to you. It's just a guess, but I'm thinking everyone in Lothering is aware of the approaching Darkspawn Horde. I'm cold. I don't like this. Greetings to you, good sir. If it isn't too much to ask, might you spare some bread or... or anything? We thought it would be safer in Lothering. That the Terran would bring his soldiers here. But bandits attacked us and took everything. Our food, our clothes, my daughter's pet lamb. Nobody cares about a few elves. Can you help us? That's wonderful news. Perhaps our belongings are still there. I can't thank you enough, friend. Even if we don't get everything back, it's... It's good to know others will be safe. yesterday, but he didn't come back. Mother said I wasn't to go with anyone. I'm supposed to wait for her here, in the village. I will, but only if I don't find Mother first. You're a really nice man. Kind of like father. I should go look for mother now. to charge what I wish. You profit from their misfortune. I should have the Templars give away everything in your carts. You wouldn't dare. Any of you step too close to my goods and I'll... It's so nice to see everyone working together in a crisis. Warms the heart. Oh, you there. You look able. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? I mention profit? He is charging outlandish prices for things people desperately need. Their blood is filling his pockets. His only survival of the fittest. All of these Cretans would do the same in his shoes, given the chance. I have limited supplies. The people decide what those supplies are worth to them. You bought most of your wares from these very people last week. Now they flee for their lives, and you want to talk business? Look, stranger, I have a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm an honest merchant, nothing more.
Well, I won't stand for thievery, especially not at the demand of some shrewish priest. Then go, and may you get all you deserve. I hope the Darkspawn choke on your cheap hides. Ah. I suppose it couldn't be helped. Maker, help us all. the Chantry board. Yes, let us run errands for the... The legions of evil are on your doorstep. They will feast upon our hearts. There is nowhere to run. This evil will cover the world like a plague of locusts. Please, you're scaring the children. Better to slit their throats now than let them suffer at Darkspawn hands. There! One of their minions is already amongst us. This man bears their evil stench. Can you not see the vile blackness that fills him? I watch the Black Horde descend on my people. I will not be silent. Please, stop! Somebody shut his mouth! But isn't he right? The ban left us. We're going to die. This minion is but the first of those who will destroy us! My family, my clan, those creatures butchered them all. Some of us fled here, but we cannot escape the dog spawn! No! I have seen them! You cannot burn! You cannot fight! There is nothing to do! No hope is left! Are you calling me a coward? I... I have shamed my ancestors. The will come. He was right, wasn't he? There's no hope for us. Our courage. But there's nothing we can do. Then, what shall we do? We must try to go north somehow. Your king is dead! There is no wonder, Alistair, if you will indulge me. Do I have a choice? Of the two of you that remain, are you not the senior Grey Warden here? I find it curious that you allow another to lead while you follow. You find that curious, do you? In fact, you defer to a new recruit. Is this the policy of the Grey Wardens, or simply a personal one? What do you want to hear? That I prefer to follow? I do. You sound so very defensive. Couldn't you crawl into a bush somewhere and die? That would be great, thanks. suppose you know anyone that can make traps. I would happily pay you to make some, but you probably already know that. 
shall be done. You got a bed for the night. You taken care of. <laughs> Ever since good King Caelan passed, refugees and soldiers have been passing through. I'm the elder here and I've my hands full making sure refugees don't turn to petty theft or worse. <laughs> Sir Bryant at the Chantry has seen to matters of defense and such. to do and not enough time i don't suppose you know anything of tonics medicines or herbs then you may be able to all manner of there's mat all right all you need in the woods. This will help many people. You're a good sort, you know. Well, look what we have here, then. I think we've just been blessed. Uh-oh. Low gains, men. This can't be good. Didn't we spend all morning asking about a fellow by this very description? And everyone said they hadn't seen him. It seems we were lied to. Gentlemen, surely there's no need for trouble. These are no doubt simply more poor souls seeking refuge. They're more than that. Now stay out of our way, sister. You protect these traitors, you'll get the same as them. Tern Logan claims the Grey Wardens betrayed the King. Or oh, haven't you heard? Enough talk! Take the Warden into custody. Kill the sister and anyone else that gets in your way. Right, let's make this quick. Keep your gun. You Good. They've learned their lesson and we can all stop fighting now. What do you want to tell him? I'll tell him right away. Now. Thank you. I apologize for interfering, but I couldn't just sit by and not help. Save my life. I assure you, I can handle myself. I wasn't born in the Chantry, you know. Many of us had more colorful lives before we joined. Let me introduce myself. I am Liliana, one of the lay sisters of the Chantry here in Lothring. Oh, I was. 
Those men said you're a Grey Warden. You will be battling the Darkspawn, yes? That is what Grey Wardens do. I know after what happened, you will need all the help you can get. That's why I'm coming along. That, and the Maker wants me to go with you. Then, you believe me? <gasps> I knew the Maker had sent a true dream. A vision that by serving you, I serve his holy plan. Perhaps your skull was cracked worse than Mother thought. Thank you. I appreciate being given this chance. I will not let you down. About food, take it up with them. I got other gear to sell. Check the chanter's board by the chant. Oh, <clears throat> no, don't suppose you. I figured I'd pay good coin for some simple board. Thanks. I might have some ingredients. the vanguard of the Kunari peoples. You mock me, or you show manners I have not come to expect in your lands. Though it matters little now, I will die soon enough. This is a proud and powerful creature, trapped as prey for the Darkspawn. If you cannot see a use for him, I suggest releasing him for mercy's sake alone. I suggest you leave me to my fate. doubt, what help do you seek? The Blight. Are you a Grey Warden, then? Surprising. My people have heard legends of the Grey Warden's strength and skill. Though I suppose not every legend is true. Perhaps if you told her the Grey Wardens need my assistance, 
It seems as likely to bring my death as waiting here. Farewell, then. To be left here to starve? Or to be taken by the Darkspawn? No one deserves that. Not even a murderer. Desperate and frightened. They don't need you to come into blow. You're such a handsome dog. I think that every time I look at you. <coughs> Lady Cecily, I lived with her after my mother died, had a dog. A small one, red to fit under the arm and in the lap. What did you name it? Oh, yes. Bonbon. Bon. Oh, Bonbon bon was a terror. He would hide, you know, when he saw you coming. And then he would attack your ankles. Rather sharp teeth in the ankles. Very painful. He attacked me once. Latched onto my leg. I thought it was a diseased rat and kicked. Bonbon bon flew across the room and over the baluster. He survived. But he never came near me after that. Yes? Well, here I am. I knew this would come up sooner or later. I don't know how to explain, but I had a dream. In it, there was an impenetrable darkness. It was so dense, so real. And there was a noise, a terrible, ungodly noise. I stood on a peak and watched as the darkness consumed everything. And when the storm swallowed the last of the sun's light, I... I fell. And the darkness drew me in. When I woke, I went to the Chantry's gardens, as I always do. But that day, the rose bush in the corner had flowered. Everyone knew that bush was dead. It was grey and twisted and gnarled, the ugliest thing you ever saw. But there it was, a single beautiful rose. It was as though the maker stretched out his hand to say, even in the midst of this darkness, there is hope and beauty. Have faith. I suppose you will never understand. No one does. It's all right. I know what I know. And no one will ever make that untrue. Yes? Well, here I am. Quiet. It was a life in the cloak, but it was not perfect. Some of my Chantry fellows were condescending. When I talked to... He cannot possibly have love for all, the sick and the... Thank you. Maybe I am wrong. But it is the Maker's place to decide if I am worthy, not men, not the Chantry. But there is work to be done. And I have talked enough for now. There's word of darkspawn stragglers, but no sign of the main horde. Who? I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach. I am Sir Donald, knight in the court of Arl Eamon in Redcliffe. 
or I was, prior to his misfortune. A pleasure, my lord. Now then, what can I do for you? What? And you have his locket? And a note? Maker's mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. Thank you. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. The Arl is stricken with an illness that threatens his life. We have found no cure, either natural or magical. Our only hope now is a miracle. Every knight of Redcliffe has gone in search of the urn of sacred ashes. Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness. But I fear we are chasing a fable, with each day my hope dims. Why is that, if I may ask? A warden! Then some did survive. You must be who Loghain hopes to smoke out with his bounty. Whatever the Tern has done or not done, the Arl remains ill, or worse. That is my primary concern. The Arl fell ill before the King died. But what if Loghain planned that too? Oh, such thoughts do not sit well with me. If nothing else, I am certain you would be welcomed at Castle Redcliffe. The Arlesa is there, and she could tell you more than I could. I expected to take advantage of the Chantry's library, in fact, but my skills are better suited to battle than chasing down tales. With Henrik gone, I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Thank you again, good sir. You have been most helpful. And that when the all. maker spoke, the chant of light. Good day, Sister Liliana. I'm surprised to see you're still in Lothering. It is good to see you as well, Your Reverence. I do not recognize your companion. Greetings. Will you be making a donation to the Chantry? Our need has never been greater. I understand. Not all are wealthy enough to spare even a few coins for the Maker's favor. What can I do for you, then? A Grey Warden? Here? Oh, dear. You put me in a difficult position. You must know that Tern Loghain declared the Grey Wardens to be outlaws. Tern Loghain? That is as hard for me to believe as his condemnation of the Wardens. There is a price on your head. Lay low and I promise to keep your presence a secret. That is the best I can do. Now, if there is nothing else... It might have been kinder to execute him, but I leave his fate to the Maker. Why does he interest you? Then his next victims might count you and me as their murderers. And what do you say on this, Liliana? You know your friend better than I. These are unusual times, Your Reverence. With us, the Kunari might do some good. I am sure of it, in fact. Were things not so desperate? Very well, I trust you. Take these keys to his cage and make her watch over you. Thank you, Your Reverence. Your trust is not misplaced. Redemption delivered. And those who are sin.
I'm wondering, Morrigan, do you believe in the Maker? Certainly not. I've no primitive fear of the moon, such that I must place my faith in tales so that I may sleep at night. You wish something more of me? I confess, I did not think the priestess would part with it. Perhaps we have different ideas of freedom. So be it. Set me free and I will follow you against the Blight. And so it is done. I will follow you into battle. In doing so, I shall find my atonement. May we proceed. I am eager to be elsewhere. Yes. I don't know what was said. You're a warden. I don't know if you killed King Kalen, and make her forgive me, I don't care. But that bounty on your head could feed a lot of hungry bellies. Attack! We must not exhaust our supplies. Thank <laughs> you. 
begun. Mighty timely arrival there, my friend. I'm much obliged. The name's Bodon Fedek, merchant and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Sandal. Say hello, my boy. Hello. Road's been mighty dangerous these days. Mind if I ask what brings you out here? Perhaps we're going the same way. Grey wardens. Hmm. My, that does rather explain a lot. No offence, but I suspect there's more excitement on your path than my boy and I can handle. Allow me to bid you farewell and good fortune. Goodbye. Now then, let's get this mess cleaned up, shall we? We'll be off as soon as this mess is cleaned up. Thank you kindly for all your assistance. Hello. 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 We'll be off as soon as this mess is cleaned up. Thank you, Carney, for all your assistance. dreams, huh? Well, it is real, sort of. You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde, and we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. I don't know if it's really a dragon, but it sure looks like one. But yes, that's the Archdemon. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. Other than dying young and the whole defeat the blight alone thing, no, I'm all tapped out for surprises. Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. Ah, it's good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodon Fedding at your service once again. I saw your camp and thought to myself, what safer place to rest for the evening than in the camp of a Grey Warden? I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Yes? Wonderful. Thank the gentleman, won't you, boy? Thank you, sir. We won't be a bother to you and your companions, I assure you. If you should need enchantments, simply talk to my boy. Otherwise, come speak with me. Hello. The boy's a bit simple, but he's rather good with enchantments. One of those tranquil fellas actually called him a... What was he now? A savant. I had no idea such a thing existed. Enchantment! Enchantment? Your friends are formidable folk, indeed. It's good to have you along on the road. 
Hmm. I suppose since you told me about you being a Grey Warden, it's only fitting for me to be as open. I am originally from Orzammar, the famed dwarven city that lies beneath the stately Frostback Mountains. I was a merchant there, too. Merchant caste. These things are in the blood, you know. You can't just leave them behind. I ran a fairly successful business. Rare artifacts, you know. Old things, grand things. The nobles loved them. Reminded them of the lost glory days, I suppose. So, as I said, things were going well. But good things must come to an end. One day, a noble woman came to my store. She looked around for a bit and then started shrieking in dismay. Apparently, she believed that a pair of braces I had for sale once belonged to her brother. He'd been lost in a cave-in, you see, while on an expedition to clear out the darkspawn from one of the tunnels running close to the city. They were made specially for him. They're unique, she shrieked. He stole them from my poor brother's corpse. She had me arrested on the spot, of course. Nobles, they're touchy like that. Well, I didn't steal them. You see, I, I'd been paying these castless thugs to venture out into the deep roads for me. The lost tigs. They're full of things that people left behind. Sometimes you can find a treasure. Something worth a little gold. The noble woman, she wasn't too happy with the theft of her brother's braces. I don't know what they planned for me, and I didn't want to find out bribed the guard that was watching me and took off for the surface first opportunity I got. Never looked back. Yes, here I am. Now, is there anything the boy or I can get you? I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected and with your discount. Furry friend here took offense at me getting near his food. He snapped at me. Look. Sometimes I forget that he's a war dog. That'll teach me. I once heard a really old legend about how the hound warriors in the days of the old tribes would feed their Mabari the flesh of the vanquished. Well, that's what I heard anyway. It would sometimes be human flesh. Oh, like you can tell the difference. For you know, maybe you've already been fed something. Someone. Oh, look at 
what your fool dog placed in my pack. A putrid, half-eaten hare is not something a woman wants to find in her unmentionables. I think I have enough meat where it counts, and I certainly don't need it in my pack. Dirty Mungle can have this back. There. And tell him not to do it again. I don't want it, you worthless fur bag. Oh, he's just trying to be manipulative, I can tell. I do it too. respect.